Shalom Israel and the Gentiles in the truth of Yehoshua HaMashiach. We have somebody here who doesn't believe that the Messiah's um, hands and, and his feet were pierced. They don't believe that he was nailed to the cross. So we want to deal with this according to the scriptures. Let's, um, let's, uh, it's a bit of a, uh, a prideful exchange because <clears throat> the message before this was, oh, so much to learn. And that's not how you approach people. Um, so we want to deal with this really, really clearly. We're going to go to the Old Testament, Psalm 22, 16. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. So the dogs representing the Gentiles, the assembly of the wicked representing the Yehudim, they pierced my hands and my feet. So the Romans and the Yehudim were there at the piercing, but they pierced my hands and feet. Okay? It's very, very straightforward. They pierced. Now, let's go to the book of Mark. <clears throat> the book of Mark, it says, uh, And when they crucified him, okay, they parted his garments, casting lots upon them, what every man should take. And it was the third hour they crucified him. And the superscription of his of his accusation was written, the king of the Yehudim. So he had to carry the he had to carry the tree. Obviously, the tree is a representation of the wood. So it's a, it's a it's a beam, obviously, or, or or a tree going upwards, okay, vertically. Then there's a superscription above his head. So that's the shape of what we call today a cross, but actually it's the Tor, the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It's just the mark of the Tor. He said, I am the Aleph, the Tor. It's the one who keeps covenant. The strong leader who keeps covenant. That's what it means. We're going to go to Luke. <clears throat> verse 38 and a superscription also written over him in greek latin and hebrew this is the king of the yehudim so we know the shape already but he had to be positioned on it so how was he positioned on it he was nailed and we're going to read the book of john 20 24 to 29 but thomas one of the 12 called Didymus, was not with them when yeshua came the other disciples therefore said we have seen adonai but he said to, the, to them except i see his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. So who knows more, Thomas or you? After eight days, his disciples were within. Thomas with them, then came Yehoshua, and the doors being shut and stood in the midst and said, Shalom Aleichem, which basically is uh, peace be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, reach hither thy finger, behold my hand, reach hither thy hand and thrust into my side. Be not faithless, but believing. So Yeshua actually told him, reach and put your finger through my hands. So you don't think that hands uh, can be pierced because your understanding of a hand is like here. But in Hebrew, it can actually mean this entire thing. It can, it can mean, obviously, we have the arm here. We have the Yod and the Yad, but it can actually mean this entire thing. All right. So we also have this area here. Where, where the flesh is and one of the regions where he would have been pierced would have been in that region because that would have supported the weight of the body where there's enough flesh to go through the bones without breaking it. That's actually scientifically proven. So you just need to do a bit of reading. You need to be a person of prayer and fasting to understand this without spreading um, controversy and confusion in the body of Mashiach. So hopefully that clears it up with scriptures and just giving a small example of like the body the anatomy of how it actually can be true so Yehoshua um, be with you uh, all and hopefully <clears throat> this deals with some of these conspiracy he wasn't nailed obviously he was scripture said it and he and he was and hopefully the whole issue of the cross it's a translation it's the tour obviously uh, upwards and then going across the superscription and his hands were stretched out his hands were stretched out in the calf now you know, now we're going to get into some Hebrew mysteries. His hand, the calf is the blessings of the hand. His hands were stretched out, the priestly blessings. And uh, when you dig into the calf, you're going to see the wah. The wah is the nail. But that's for another day. Shalom.